The author of the novel we're going to dramatize on Words at War this evening is here with us. She is Lynn Taiyi, author of War Tide. We're honored to have you with us tonight, Miss Lynn. I'm happy to be here. Would you tell us a little about War Tide? Is it your first book? No, but it is my first novel. And it tells of your own experiences while being bombed by the Japanese? Oh, no. My book is a novel. The story is imaginary. But you were in Chungking in 1940 during the heaviest bombings of that city. Yes, I was there. Won't you tell us a little about it? But I do in my book, Mr. Costello. In my book, I tell of the war tide. Just what is the war tide, Miss Lynn? The war tide? The war tide is a spirit, Mr. Costello. A spirit that has swept through China and met all men as one. It is a spirit that unites men in the same peril and makes them into a single unit, one called China, one called strength. What is this spirit, Miss Lynn? The spirit is anger, Mr. Costello, and courage. And it is this spirit that makes us know that we shall win this war. Our dramatization of your book doesn't follow exactly the incidents as you wrote them, but I think it will preserve that spirit. That is all that matters, because the spirit is the war tide. And one more question, Lin Taiyi. Would you mind, how old are you? I'm 17 years old. Words at War. Tonight, the National Broadcasting Company, in cooperation with the Council on Books in Wartime, presents an adaptation of a powerful new novel written by a 17-year-old girl. The book, Wartide, by Lynn Taiyi. My grandmother had nine fingers, only nine. She was very proud of it. She said that all through her life she'd been blessed like that. She said that our family was different, special. But we weren't special. We were just a normal Chinese family living in Hangzhou. My father owned a silk shop, and like most fathers, I guess, he, he was impractical. My mother was a mother. And I had two brothers, a big one, fine, and a small one, little bean. Then, of course, there was the old lady, my grandmother, and there was me, Lo Yin. You see, we really were a normal family. That is, until the war came. (laughs) (laughs) Old lady, this is a lucky moment for you. Your grandson just married to the most beautiful girl in all of China. Lucky, isn't it? Let me tell you, a toy stoops when he marries anyone. He stoops, ha! Mother, did Farm stoop? I didn't see him stoop. Mother, did he stoop to marry Royal Pearl? Hush, little bean. It is your brother's wedding. Your voice should not be heard until your own. It shouldn't? For heaven's sake. For heaven's sake, what, little bean? Shen... Oh, Shin, I think you'd better marry Lo Yin soon. Well, so do I, little Bean. But Lo Yin will not have me. She won't? Why not? Lo Yin, why won't you have Shen? Hush, little Bean. Everyone will hear you. But if you marry Shen, then that would give me another brother. Royal Pearl is my new sister. And Shen would be my new brother. Please, I think you should marry him. Mother, don't you think so? What, little Bean? Don't you think Shen should marry Lo Yin? Oh, no, little Bean. Lo Yin is too young. Only 17. Let them wait a while. All right. But they look at one another so funny all the time. Like now. Look, Mother, they're whispering. Look, Mother, Father, look. Shen and Lo Yin are whispering, see? (laughs) (laughs) But of course, little Bean, they are in love. Father, it is time to propose the toast, dear. Mm, what, what's that? The toast, dear. The, the toast. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Uh, uh, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, so ladies and gentlemen, my house is honored by your presence. This is a happy occasion for the house of Tai. I ask you to join me in welcoming my new daughter, my son's wife, Royal Pearl. 
and they live a long and happy life together. May peace and plenty bless their house. And may they have ten children and name them all after me. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, please, uh, another toast. Oh, yes. This time to my mother. My mother, who is my home's most beautiful ornament. She is the... I'm 80 years old, and I have but nine fingers, and I'm glad you all could come. Oh, <laughs> oh that's wonderful. Shin, are you ready? So soon, Fa'an? What is it, Fa'an? Why do you look so sad and secret? It's your wedding, brother. Please be happy. Come into the next room, Loyan. We have something to tell you. Oh, yes, Shen. There's not much time, sister. Come. Of course. (laughs) What is it, Fine? What have you to say that makes you both look so... so... You tell her. Loyan. Loyan, the war is coming. Yes, I know, but... Fa'an and I must prepare to stop the Japs. I don't understand. Well, the devils have thousands of planes, Lo Yin. Thousands. And we must keep them from crawling through our sky. We're to report to the airfield in Hanko. When? Now. Oh, Shen. Lo Yin, listen to me. When I'm gone, there'll be only you to take care of our family. Only you to take care of my wife. Oh, no, Fan. Royal Pearl is very beautiful, Lo Yin. I love her very much. Please, Lo Yin, there's no one else but you. Little Bean, the old lady, mother, father, royal pearl. All of them depend on you. You must stay and take care of them. Promise me that when war comes, you'll keep this family safe and strong. Promise. You must promise, Lo Yin. All right. I'll do my best, Fahan. Thank you. You're a good girl. Goodbye, sister. Take care. And Lo Yin, keep Royal Pearl safe. Yes, Fan. I must say goodbye, too, my darling. Shen. Oh, Shen. Yes, dear, what is it? Shen. Fine, said the Japanese have thousands of planes. How many... How many have you? Oh, don't worry, Lo Yin. We'll stop them. They haven't a chance. How many planes have you? We're strong and not afraid, and we'll drop them right out of our sky. How many planes? We have five. That night, the night was deep. And the storm beat against my windows, and... I couldn't sleep. The storm beat down upon the windows, and I lay in bed thinking of Shen and my brother, Fan, who'd gone off to do battle in the sky. I, I thought of my mother and my father, and the old lady and Royal Pearl, and of little Bean, my brother. I thought of taking care of them all. <laughs> and I heard laughter in the rain, loud laughter, gay and high, very high. I listened. The rain beat down fast and energetic, and it, it wasn't laughter at all. It was wailing voices, weeping and sobbing, weeping and sobbing. And that was when the war came to my heart. It came and settled down and wouldn't go away. The war. War? Nonsense. The war won't come here. The Japanese won't come here. They wouldn't dare. But, Father, the war has come. Nanking, our capital, has fallen. Oh, no, not Nanking. Yes, Mother. And already the devils are on the edge of Hangzhou. Right here on the edge of town. Oh, no. Nonsense. Listen, Father, listen. Do you hear guns? Why, it's only the wind, Lo Yin. Not guns. Oh, only the wind. Father, please. I promised Fa and I'd take care of everybody. Help me. Mother, Royal Pearl. Lo Yin, what should we do? Royal Pearl. <laughs> Little do? Bean, be quiet. <laughs> Lo Yin, you're making your brother cry. I won't have it. 
I won't have it. Come here, little bean. Now stop making those noises. Father, they're invading the city. We must go to Cho Chang. Mother, please make him see. My daughter, how? Oh, mother, oh, lady, somebody. It's true. Those are guns. Listen, my son. Oh, merciful murder, what will we do? Planes. Japanese planes. The devils are here. Be quiet. Be quiet! Those aren't guns. You hear? Those are not guns. It's only the wind. Only the wind. And war came to Hung Cho. And it broke out like a plague in Hung Cho. And all over. Until it spread thick over China and ran into the sea. And everywhere it went, people recognized it. The clouds fizzed and the sky cracked. And up came the hell and down came the heaven. And no one could tell them apart. But the devils from the East Ocean have come, they said. The devils from the East Ocean have come. The dead littered the earth. And ghosts stalked in the sun, and men were torn limb from limb, and women were raped and slit open, and that was what war was. Bombs flew as gracefully as birds, and the old lived and the young died, and God was mad, and men were angry. Men were angry, and the world went crazy. The war came, and it was ugly. With it came a spirit. Beneath this ugly world, there was woven a hope that came from the birth and death of men. And this spirit made us want to spit and want to stir. And it made us restless and feverish. And the spirit was the war tide. It swept in, and there was light and there was happiness. Because the spirit, which was the war tide, was anger and courage. And it swept in and fill the people of China. Mother and Royal Pearl and Little Bean left for Chu Chang. But Father and my grandmother would not go, and so I stayed behind with them. And that night, the Japs entered Hung Cho. I hurried to the silk shop to warn my father. No. Father, oh. Father, are you there? Uh, it's so dark. Father. They've looted my store. They've torn up my silks. The Japs have torn up my silks. I found my father sitting dark and lonely in a corner of the store. Around him, piles and piles of silks were heaped, slashed, ruined. I went up to him and found myself staring into the eyes of a madman. (laughs) All the silks. The pretty silks. My life's work. Gone. Father, we must get out of here quickly. Please, Father, the devils are everywhere and they're burning everything and killing. Yes, the devils. They're the ones who did this. They're the ones who slash and burn. Burn. Yes, that's it. Burn. I'll burn them all. All my silks. Where's where's the match? I want to find God in heaven. Where where is there a match? Oh, Father, match, please. Please, please. don't. Oh, oh. Here's one. Right here. A match. You see? Father, stop it. You don't know what you're doing. And now, now we shall see the end of everything. Watch, Lo Yin. See how the flame catches hold. Orange flame, pretty. As my silks were pretty. Watch, Lo Yin. Oh, it's a good fire. See how it burns? Look how it burns. Go on. 
Burn, you devil! Burn! But father, we must get out! The flame! It's burning! Father! Burning! Oh, father! The whole world is burning! Everything is burning! You see? Everything! And he choked on the smoke. He stood there coughing and choking. The flames spurted up all around him, and he wouldn't come out. I tried to make him come, but he wouldn't. And then he tripped and fell into the biggest flame of all. And I didn't see him anymore. I'm so tired. Oh, lady, I'm so tired. Oh, my son, where is my son? My only son, gone. Everyone is gone. No one left but you. I'm so lonely in the house. I'm cold. I'm frightened. So lonely. Yes, child. Go bolt the door. Here you go, lady. Couldn't we go join mother and little Bean? Bolt the door, Lo Yen. Bolt the door. Yes. We're all alone now. All alone. Shh, don't move that. Listen, footsteps. Hear them? I hear nothing. Nothing. Oh, it's so lonely here, Lo Yen. Shh, there it is again. The lamp. Quickly, child. Is there anyone here? It's a murphy. It's a jack. It's a jack. Don't say anything for your life. Don't say anything. Is there anyone here? Is there a woman here? Huh? What's this? What's this? Don't look at him, child. Don't look at him. Get out, you devil! Get out! Oh, Shin. Where are you, Shin? Run, Loyan, run. Not so fast. Come here. No! <gasps> get down, you beast! For your own good, get out! Don't you dare touch us! We're sick! Sick! See, I have only nine fingers! Only nine! We're sick! Sick with leprosy! Leprosy, see? Leprosy! 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 leprosy. <laughs> Don't cry, Lorien. It's all over. The devil is gone. We'll go join your mother and little bean now. We shall go, child. Don't cry. We'll be safe in Chu Chang. Nine fingered little slave, they used to call me. Nine fingered little beggar. Now they know. Now my ancestors know why I was made with only nine fingers. It was not my mother's fault. It was Buddha's blessing. Hush, child. <laughs> Hush. Shen will come back to you. And the flowers will bloom, and it will be all green and pretty outside. Don't cry, Louie. Don't cry. We arrived in the night, my grandmother and I. And as we arrived, there was a sound in the sky. And it was the sound of death and fire. And it was the sound of Japanese planes. We were four women and a little boy. One woman old and pale as ashes and just as useless. One beautiful and incapable royal pearl. My mother, who didn't know that her husband... My father was dead, and I, who dare not tell her, because the war brings sorrow,
that allows no time for weeping. And so we were on the wharf waiting for the little steamer to take us to Hong Kong, to take us to Shen. One ticket left, one ticket for the trip to Hong Kong. Who will pay $600 for safety? One ticket. Oh, excuse me, please. Ah, little lady, do you want the last ticket? I have four tickets, and we need only one more for my little brother. Oh, he's very little. Oh, please don't make us pay for him. Yeah, where is he? Oh, here. Say something, little bean. Hello. Mm, the boy is small, all right, but there's nothing I can do about it. I'm sorry. We have not the money to pay for my brother's fare. Well, you'll have to leave him here, then. Who wants this ticket? Ah! $600. Ah! Oh, quiet, I little bean. I can't go. I must get Everybody's going, but I can't go. I must get $600. Stop those miserable noises, little boy. How can I sell the ticket if your troubles are louder than I am? He'll stop if you give us the ticket. I'll stop if you give us the ticket. I'll stop if you give us the ticket. I'll stop if you give us the ticket. All right, stop then. Why, you're even louder than the bomb. <laughs> Here, Sonny. Here's the ticket. Now hurry up and get on that boat. You can't Thank give him that so ticket. Much. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Mother, we have the ticket for Little Bean. The man gave us the ticket. We have five now. Not six. Six? No, there are only five of us. Your father? Oh, yes. Where's the ticket for your father? Oh, merciful Buddha, I forgot. Where is your father? <laughs> Lo Yin. Uh, why is Royal Pearl crying? Mother, Mother, I can't keep it from you any longer. Oh, what kind of a world is this when we haven't even time for our sorrow? <laughs> Tell me. Mother... Father won't be coming. He's dead, Mother. Oh. He set his shop on fire and died in the flames. And that's why we should go, Mother. Because Father won't be coming. Mother, won't you say anything? Won't you cry? Please cry. No matter what, it's better to cry. We shall miss the boat. Come, wife of my dead son. You stand there as a statue. But you must concern yourself with the living. Later, ah, uh, later you may remember and be haunted with the dead. But now, now there is no time. Come, daughter. She won't come. She just stands there. Oh, goddess in heaven, help me to touch my mother's heart and remind her of the world again. Help me. Mother, mother, I'm afraid the bombs are getting closer. What? The bombs. Oh, yes. Yes, little bean. Never mind, son. We'll get on the boat now. We'll get on the boat. <laughs> Look, sister, it's Hong Kong. See, the lights were in Hong Kong. Hong Kong, where Shen is, my brother Fong. Oh, everything will be all right in Hong Kong. No bonds, no blood. And men will be men again, not beasts. Oh, things will be all right in Hong Kong. Careful, little bean. Don't fall overboard. I won't. I won't. Sister, there's one. On. Where? Oh, where? Royal Pearl. Lo Yin. This way. Come this way. Little bean, take mother's hand while I help the old one. Oh, hurry. Shen and Fa An are here. Hurry. Hurry, you say? You've waited weeks to see that Shen of yours. Or a few seconds more, so unbearable. Measure your steps to an old woman's child. Excuse me, old lady, but Shen... He will keep. Mother, Royal Pearl, you're here at last. Oh, Fawn. Never mind, darling, it's all right now. Fawn, are we safe, Fawn? Can we be safe now? Quite safe, little bean, quite safe. Oh, Fawn, it was awful. Bones killed us and father, and father... Where's my grandson? Fawn, where are you? Here, old one. Welcome to Hong Kong. Oh, thank you, boy. <sighs> I'm hungry. Fawn. Yes, Lo Yin. Lo Yin, thank you for taking care of Royal Pearl and everyone so well. Fawn, where's Shen? Lo Yin. Where is he? Is he dead? Oh, no. But he's been wounded. Where is he? Here in the hospital. He's been calling for you. You'd better go to him. Is he badly wounded? You... You'd better go to him. Yes. Yes, I'll go to him. Lo Yin? 
Yes, Shannon. I'm here. You've come. You've really come. Yes, Shannon. Are you all right? Oh, yes, I'm all right. But you... Are you... Shannon, I'm afraid to ask. Oh, Ian, I've been wounded and... Don't tell me. Please don't tell me. Oh, it doesn't matter. Because I don't mind. It is fate. Look, Lillian, you must look. See? Is that all? Yes, that's all. Just one arm shot away. Do you mind? Lillian, do you mind? I love you. Lillian. Yes? Will you marry me? Lillian, will you? Shen. Darling, listen. I'll take care of you. You're so young and you've done so much. No, I'll take care of you. I have only one arm true, but I have my legs and my head and everything else. I can't fly anymore, but I can teach it. I will teach flying, and you... You will teach sacrifice. Lillian, will you marry me now? I was afraid before, Shen. But now... Now I know that in these times, risk is nothing. And words like safety and reason and logic have no meaning. It's only the heart that makes sense. Because the heart hasn't been invaded by this terrible civilization yet. Yes, Shen. I'll marry you. Gladly. Oh, Lillian. I'm lucky. So lucky. Shen, I hear something. Oh, Shen. Yes, dear. It's bombs. Not here, too. Oh, not here, too. Lillian, listen to me. No, I won't listen. I'm so tired, Shen. So tired. Wherever I go, there's a black wall, and the blackness suffocates and tangles me up, and there's no getting away. Hangzhou, Changchun, Hangko, bombs everywhere. There's nowhere on earth where there isn't death or war. Hush, Lo Yin. We'll be married and go to Chongqing. There'll be no bombs there, and I'll teach flying and... <laughs> I can't. Oh, Shen, I can't. Not anymore. Listen to me, Lo Yin. Oh, listen to me. War is an unpleasant black mask with death and blood and sacrifices smeared on it. But one day it will wear off. You have a job to do again, and you will do it. There is still sorrow and hardship and pain. Bombs will fall and blood will be shed, and we will all starve or die. But the war tide has got us body and soul in. Don't you remember? Anger and courage. Anger and courage. Look at me, Lillian. Don't you remember? Oh, yes, Shen. I remember. I remember. It is the war tide. As the 32nd program of Words at War, we have brought you a radio version of War Tide, the novel by Lynn Taiyi. The book was adapted by Edith Summer of the NBC staff. Francis Heflin was heard as Lo Yin, and others in the cast were Billy Dosha, Nell Harrison, Kay Renwick, Edwin Bruce, Stuart Brody, Patricia Wheel, Alan Devitt, Melvin Elliott, Sanford Bickert, and Rod Hendrickson. The original music was by William Meter, and Mr. Y.F. Lee was heard playing the Chinese erhu, or violin. The production was under the direction of Anton Leder. Next week, Words at War will present an adaptation of Condition Red by Captain Frederick Bell, a story of a destroyer. Words at War is brought to you in cooperation with the Council on Books in Wartime by the National Broadcasting Company and its affiliated independent stations.
This is the National Broadcasting Company.